Hey on YouTube, welcome back to Lee's Paracord. Today we're going to be making the barbed wire stitch paracord bracelet and you're going to need to know how to make the four strand core. If you don't know how, I'll have the link in the description. But you're going to need about 10 foot of 550 paracord and 6 foot of micro paracord. And I'm going to be using a jig in this video. You don't have to have one, that's optional. But a fit would really help in this, uh, making this paracord bracelet. But if you don't have one, you might still be able to manage with like needle nose pliers or hemostats. But yeah, enjoy. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start with the uh, four strand core. And if you don't know how to make this, I went ahead and made a video on this yesterday. Um, just to show you how to do this. It'd be too long to put this all in one video. But yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so to make the barbed wire bracelet, um, it starts with the fishtail braid. So um, you're going to go ahead and bring your right over your right uh, two strands. Um, and right down through the center. And then... Um, it's basically uh, the same on either side, and you just keep uh, doing this pattern all the way down. Try to keep it pretty tight. Um, not too tight that it's going to mess these up and flip these, and just try to make sure that these stay straight. And yeah, so um, we did this one, so we're going to go ahead and do that one again. So you do this, and then we're going to go ahead and do the other one. And since this one's over the top now, since this uh, left strand is over the top, we're going to go ahead and do it again. So it's whichever strand is um last you do that one again and it's just going to keep switching back and forth try to keep it tight um but not too tight that you uh it's going to mess it up so this one and then over the top through, down through the center and as you can see it's just keeping it pretty tight you want to keep all these equal you don't want to tighten this up way more than this one and this stick out further and keep it about the same uh same thickness all the way down all right, so since this one was over the top last, we're gonna go ahead and do this one again. All right, and then we're gonna bring our left over top of that and down through the center. And just like this, and so you're just gonna continue this braid all the way down. I'll go ahead and show you one more time. This was the last one done. So we're gonna bring it over. And I'm bringing the left side over down the center. And because the left was the last one done, you would just keep doing that all the way down. So yeah, just continue this braid, and uh, I'll, sh I'll show you when I'm done. Alright, so when you get down here to the end, um, it might be too hard to get this through. So you can, if you have a FID, you can use your FID. If you have hemostats, you can also use those, which we'll go ahead and use some hemostats just to keep it a little quicker. So just quickly push this through here. Alright, open them up. And get through. So... Now we're down here at the end of our braid. I'm just going to go ahead and tighten this up. And as you can see, it's not going to be even all the way down. This is not a very consistent braid, but um, the end results always look the best. So we'll just go ahead and uh, cinch this up, and then you want to go ahead and burn it down. All right, so I went ahead and got it off the jig, so we can go ahead and burn this down. So you're just going to go ahead and tr uh, try and get both your ends coming down this way. Um, so like I said, use your fit or your hemostats to try to get it um, down because you don't want one to be on the side and one to be down here. Um, you want to try and get them both right here. So I'm going to go ahead and cut these and I'll uh, burn it down. All right, so I went ahead and burned that down. I cut it a little further out this time just because this is going to be the part of my wrist. And usually when you cut it a little further out, it smushes down a little bigger. And um, it keeps it from being too sharp because if you cut it closer and burn it down, it's going to be a little sharper. But that's fine if like it's going to be on the side of your bracelet or it's going to be on the top when you burn it down. But since this is going to be the part touching my wrist, I cut it out just a slight further, uh, farther than I usually do and burned it down. And it's actually stayed pretty flat and it feels really smooth. So, yeah, that's just like what I like to do for my bracelets. If you want to um, keep these smaller, that's fine. But you're not even going to see it when you have your bracelet closed up and, uh, yeah, on your wrist. So, it's going to be all right. All right, so I went ahead and got my micro pair cord uh, on this fin that come with some other micro pair cord I got. Uh, the other fit that screws into it, they'll also be fine. I just don't have one of those, but, uh, this will do. So this is not a needle. As you can see, it has a ballpoint on it. It's not sharp, but, um, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and get our bracelet and we're going to start, uh, these, these three right here. We're going to go ahead and stick it through these three on, uh, the top, uh, left side of the bracelet. So we're going to go ahead and stick it through these three. And you want to, hang on, let's pull this all the way down. So you want to pull it all the way through. Let's get this through real quick. All right, so you're gonna pull your paracord all the way through to the very, very end. Oh, almost went too far. So 
you want just a little bit sticking out right here. You, don't want, you want it to look just like this. All right, we're going to go ahead and pass our paracord through this center, and it's going to come back up through this side. So through this center point, point right here, and you're going to pull it back up to this side. So this might take a second. All right, so once you get that through, you're going to go ahead and pull your paracord through without um, actually pulling that back through. All right, let's get this all the way on this side. And just be careful not to pull it too tight, like I said, just so that doesn't accidentally come out up through there. So now you want to stick it down through this side and you want to make sure that your paracord when you do that stays in the direct center and you don't want to stick it through one of these or that. You want to stick it right down through the center and you want it to stay along the center line right here. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to stick it right through here. Let's pull the paracord over here. All right. So when you pull it back through there, you want it to look just like this. Keep it right down the center. Now, we're going to take it and put it through. Now, it might be harder since you have, if you did it like I did and had these a little bigger, flattened down. Um, but you can just try it and get it up under there. So, we started over here, put it through, brought it up through here, coming to this side, stuck it back down through, and just flipped it forward like this. So now, we're sticking it through this top side. Now... You're only going to go through these two and not the full three like we did this side. So it's just going to be two right here. So let's go ahead and get it through here. All right. And get all the way through. And just give it a little snug or a little pull to snug up the top. Um, the top doesn't have to be extremely tight because when we start doing the barbed wire uh, part of it, um, this is going to get tighter and it's going to stay better. So you ain't going to pull this to where it's curling the bracelet in half. You can keep your bra uh, bracelet flat, but get that through there. So now we're going to take this and we're going to go back down through here. So back down again. Let's go and pull that there. So once you get back up through here, you might have to sense it pulled on. Uh oh, hang on. So that's the one problem with this uh, uh, needle fit type thing right here is that it'll get stuck, but um, so when you get back through here, you want to give it another snug because it might loosen this up some, as you can see. So we're just going to snug it up some, pull in a little harder. Just make sure you don't pull this out when you're doing that because it will still pull that out. So I'm just going to pull this up a little tighter. All right, so that stayed pretty flat. Let's get it just a little tighter. Okay, so now we have to start wrapping it around uh, our centerpiece. So we're going to take this and bring it up under here. All right, let's do that. So let's pull your paracord all the way through. And then you're going to start back on the side again. And you're going to go right back up under here. I'll show you from the side. You're just going to go right back up under here again. And you're just going to keep keep going up under here, just like that. And that's going to keep wrapping it around. Hang on, let's get it over the top. <clears throat> all right, so now... As you can see, that's going to keep making a spiral all the way up. And you're just going to keep starting on the back side, or the top, whichever you want to call it, and pulling it through. And so that's going to make a spiral all the way up. You can do this however many times you want, but um, I'm using, I think, a little over six feet of paracord. So really all you need is six feet. But if you plan on doing a lot of loops down this, uh, and with only six feet, you just want to make sure you're going to have enough. So um, just a decent amount, just to have a couple loops. Really, it's whatever you want but it's going to go all the way down to this end. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so this is about how many I did. I kept it, let's see if it's focus. Kept it pretty even all the way down. The light's kind of doing weird with it, but as you can see, it's just a spiral around this center cord all the way down. And yeah, it stayed pretty even until I got down here to the end, but it'll be all right. It's just barbed wire, so it doesn't have to be perfect. But yeah, that's what it should look like. Now, we're, we're going to stick it back down through our center again, right through here. Okay, so I had to pause that, but once you get it through here, you're going to be back on this side. And now we're gonna start doing the barbed wire part all the way down. So we started on this side with these three, so we're gonna go to this top side. So yes, uh, we're flipping our bracelet on the underside and going right, oh, hang on, I don't get tangled up, going right under these two right here. So, once we get it through here, I'll show you what to do next.
Okay, so you're going to pull that pretty tight so that it tightens up this top line uh, or spiral around it. And now we're going to take this and we're going to pull it right across through here. So once you, you want to pull it right in between um, these two sections right here. And you're going to get it in this in this uh, crack right here, just like that. So now we're going to begin uh, wrapping it around this center piece again, but four times. So I'm going to show you. So just get it on the top right here. Oh, got out of frame there. All right, so that's one time, and this is what it's going to look like. So we went through under here. And we brought it right up through this crack and we wrapped it around one time. So we're going to do it uh, three more times. So it's four times. So that was one and this will be two. So all I did was take it and I passed it right up under this cord. All right. And let's slide it. Let's slide it this way some just so it's not going back that way now that was two so we're going to do it again and go up under here just like this and pull it back out this side oh so we're gonna pull this through all right so when doing this you want to try and keep it pretty even you don't want these to separate if you can see this you don't want these to separate and if they do a little bit that's fine but you want to try to keep it you know together and you want to make it look pretty as nice as you can so we wrapped it around three times so we need to do it one more time so again we go under this right here and through here so we wrap it around all right so that's all four times so now we're going to leave a space. Um, we're gonna count from here. So it's gonna be one, two, three, four. So the fourth one. So starting with this one and going four down, you're going to bring your line back through that fourth uh, sl uh, slot right here. So you want to try and get it through here. Uh, so you don't want to you don't want to mess this up. See how this is separating. So once we get it through, you want to uh, go ahead and fix that. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. All right, so once you get that through here, so it should look just like this. You try to keep these together. You're going to stick it back through these two right here, just like we did over here, which you can't actually see it anymore if you look at it because we pulled it up through to this side. So before we do that, though, we're going to go ahead and stick it up under these two right here. And this is right here, so like you're going to pull it through here. And we're uh, pulling it through here, right here, our from four over here and pushing it right up through these two right here. All right, so now once you get that through there, just like that, it went right up under this cord right here. And we're going to bring it to the other side. But before we do that, the same way we made this gap right here, where there's one, two, three, four, we're going to make that gap again. So we're going to wrap it around just like this. So it was on this side and went back down. And we went and brought it up under these two, bring it to this side. And we got our four, our gap four right here. So. Um, as you can see, in between these two, oh, hang on, in between these two, there's a gap of um, four uh, crosses with our fishtail with the 550 paracord. So now we're going to stick it right in between this gap right here. Let's go ahead and do that. So you're going to pull it up through there. And when doing that, it pulled this to the side, and you want to keep this on track. So we're going to push, pull this back and pull it tight. So we're going to scrunch these together. You should try to keep it on the center and... Uh, it looking as good as you can get it. So we brought it this far in. So you're gonna try. You want to try and make that uh, look the same all the way down. Um, try to get it that far. So now 
we're going to wrap it around the center again. So let's go and do that. So it's going to be four times. So this is the first time. All right. This is the second time. Third time. Try to keep them in order. As you can see, it's trying to flip back to the first one. But we're going to keep them in order and make it look as good as we can. Just like so. And then this is the fourth time. All right. So now that went through there. And we're going to pull it, or we're going to put it right in between this gap right here so pretty much we're just going to keep putting a gap of four all the way through so it's one two three four and then on this side it was one two three four and then we're going to make another gap over here of one two three four and it's going to go right in between these two right here so let's get this straight okay so i'll actually i was i'm actually struggling to get it through right here since it's so tight so um just like we did last time we're going to stick it up under between uh, under these two and hopefully that'll get it up under there keeping uh, our gap of four right here. So let's go and do that. So now, as you can see, it ended up working out the same way. Let's go ahead and just pull that out just a little bit. We don't want it too tight, but we want it to look the same all the way down. So there we go. So that's how we do this part. So I'll go and show you one more time, and then I'm just going to go ahead and finish it up. So we went ahead and brought it under this side right here. And so now we're going to bring it back to this side, making our gap of four again. So we're going to put it right between this one. And pulling on, pulling it, trying to pull it through this gap over here, it's actually going to pull this off center. So you want to make sure that that stays centered the entire time. Um, even if you have to get it through this other side and center this again, which I might, I might have to do that. All right, so I got it through again, and we're going to wrap it around our center four times again. So this being one. All right, and this being two. three and four also excuse me if i'm going out of frame at all because i'm trying to pay attention to what i'm doing and it's just kind of hard to work with this micro paracord so i'm just going to try and straighten frame the best i can but uh, hopefully you're getting the idea of what's going on here so now back down with our gap of four right here and place it right in between these we go that's just going to hold it in place go ahead and center this back up and so it'll stay as nice as possible and it's barbed wire so it doesn't have to be perfect but if you can get it uh looking the best you can that'll be good so here we go so now um just don't forget to stick it back through here so um we finished off to the right and so we're going to bring it up under just two places so up under the uh, these two Yep, I'm trying to push another one. And if you have a sharper fid, um, the ones that actually screw the micro paracord into it, just make sure you don't actually pierce the paracord when doing this, because I've actually pierced paracord really easily. Um, it's a lot easier than you think to pierce it. So just try to be careful not to, because it'll end up uh, bringing this up, and it's not going to look that nice. So now we got this through here, and I'm going to go ahead and straighten this back up. All right, we need to tighten this up, actually, because it got a little, got a little funky. All right, so you're just going to continue this pattern all the way down. I'm going to go ahead and tighten this uh, loop, these loops back up. Just try to keep them as tight as possible. Try to make it look nice. And just make sure you keep it centered all the way down. Then you're not pulling too tight and getting it off-centered. All right, now we're uh, back down here at the end. So I went ahead and got it through these two right here. And I don't want to leave this big of a gap. So I'm going to go ahead and try to get it... Excuse me. I'm going to go ahead and try to get to the um, uh, as far as to the end as possible because this one's so close to this end. So I don't want to leave that gap right there. So I'm going to go ahead and cross it back over the back. Leave, still leaving our uh, gap of four. Pulling it through here. All right. Now, making our first pass. Our 
for second pass. All right, and then we just need our last one, our fourth pass. So I was actually having trouble getting it. Oh, I'm out of frame, my bad. Oh, I was actually having trouble getting it through right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and pull this through and tighten that back up. So I can even use my vid to get it in there. There we go, and it just kind of made it a little sloppy. So we'll just have to tighten this back up. All right, and it's actually gonna have to cross right through this one, which is okay. Um, it's not far off the end, but I think that it still looks okay up here, and it's still leaving our gap of four. So now let's go ahead and, and close this gap up so that it's not so far apart. There we go, and now we're going to bring it back up under this side again. Okay, I'm sorry, I forgot to mention. Um. So when we're bringing it back through our gap right here, you want to bring it back through these four or even three, but I'm going to go ahead and do the four. So where we brought it back down across through here, I'm going to go one, two, three, four down, and I'm going to go up under all these and bring it back up through here. So it's going to look similar to this side, but except this side was three, this side's going to be four over here. All right, so once you get it through there, you should have something that looks something like this. And let's go ahead and let's close up this last one. All right, I might have to do a little work on that one just to try to get that closed up. But yes, you should have something that looks like this. Uh, looks very nice. And so what we're going to go ahead and do to finish this up is we're going to cut right here and burn down our micro paracord. And over here where this a little uh, little flap comes up, we're going to cut this and burn it down uh, right against um, these gaps right here. So let's go and do that. All right, so I went ahead and got this burned down on this side, which I accidentally went a little far out, but... um. I got it on the side as well. So now uh, the bottom side it is pretty with all of your uh, melting down and all of your uh, cord. And as you can see, it actually got a little uneven right here. But barbed wire isn't really that even anyways. But yes, here's our finished bracelet. Oh, it has some scissors in the way, my bad. Um, but yeah, here's our finished bracelet. And I hope you enjoyed.